नमस्कार बॉन्चोर दिस इज सिमरन सिंह एंड वेलकम टू द ब्रांड न्यू एपिसोड ऑफ नोटेबल टॉक्स बाय एनी टेक ट्रायल डॉट कॉम वेर वी इंट्रोड्यूस यू टू डिफरेंट पर्सनैलिटीज सो इन टू दिस एपिसोड वी आर ज्वाइन बाय द फाउंडर एंड सीईओ ऑफ फ्रिगेट मिस्टर तमिल इंडियन सर हैज एन एक्सपीरियंस ऑफ ओवर ट्वेल्व ईयर्स इन न्यू प्रोडक्ट डिजाइन एंड डेवलपमेंट and i'm delighted to inform you that frigate has helped over 100 organizations in designing and developing products and prototypes globally welcome sir welcome on board yeah thank you simran for the nice brief interview thank you so much for being here with us so let's get started with the interview what started as a revolution with automating and email response has now spread nearly to every aspect of business today Digital transformation has become a must have from good to have with more of AI and ML stepping in every day in our lives core business processes are also seeing a lot of digitalization with this in mind we would appreciate if you could explain to our audience about what are on demand manufacturing services and how is cloud manufacturing making its way to be the future of work to be frank actually we started as a prototyping company so actually our customer uh, wanted to manufacture it as well at, at some time okay so so we were doing only uh, like as i said only doing whatsapp gmail everything to do things okay so but the thing is like if you don't digitalize it it's very tough to scale at that level so that's why that's where we uh, found uh, Found our market fit like we have to build a platform in such a way that to convert whatever uh, digital design to a physical product. So be it uh, 3D printing or uh, fabrication or sheet metal, uh, CNC machining, injection molding or whatever it may be. So India as a as as yes we say like we are making make in India are uh, like we are we are competing with China but we are still behind very very well behind them at least. I say 15, 20 years, but the thing is, yes, we are still booming, and we are uh, in medical field. We are right now, uh, uh, we are number one right now. But in manufacturing, with respect to industrial segment, we have that capability and we have that uh, power to make things uh, export globally. But things have to be digitized. Because every in uh, in uh, small, uh, small and medium sectors, uh, everything is like a rat. Run. They are running like a rat race. Like you will be having one or two owners or founders who will be doing everything. So there there are lots of scope to digitize, and uh, that's what we want to play a major role in uh, digitizing them and uh, leverage their strengths and capabilities to uh, make it global. So. so that is where we found that there is a huge number of folks like we are sitting in trichy and paimatur like it's it's a, it's a manchester of south india like paimatur is already so we have n number of like uh, we have uh, uh, lakhs lakh numbers of smes here so we just want to they are already supplying to some customers or uh, oems but there, there is a huge scope that they can reach global uh, customers and uh, make them uh, understand what their concept is and they can make make easy the things easy and uh, for example they can even uh, get it done for aerospace defense automotive racing engineering and all. so that's what we want to uh, leverage that vendors uh, are our trigger suppliers uh, uh, strengths to major oem sectors that's why that's where because to dig- we thought digitization it won't be possible so that that's where we want to be As a hybrid manufacturing marketplace, how does Frigate enable the SMB sector to optimize its core business operations? So, uh, as I said, uh, being an SME owner, at least in uh, India, is is a tough job for them. For example, uh, there will be one guy who will be forcing everything. For example, uh, getting the port, uh, making the order. order execution like purchasing bills for example purchasing raw material designing then uh, they have to uh, if you have two to three machines you have to set set the machines you have to guide your machines or operators then they will explain what happening around there if if someone is not coming then you have to go pitch in and you have to do it yourself then you have to take it out then you have to do inspection 
then you have to do post processing or painting or whatever it will be so anodizing or completing so then you have to uh, uh dispatch it so these are all the process one only one or two guys will do that so these uh, smes will also only work with one or two companies for example uh, uh, say for example the bhl uh, bharat heavy electric center so they they will have the ancillary units like 100 to 200 units nearby so they will be only producing manufacturing parts for them alone so if 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 the bhl is not willing to work with the a vendor then they don't have any other options or something like that. They, they are like uh like they they will be facing against the wall so they don't have they have the strength they have everything they can do anything uh, with respect to what their strength is but they don't have that marketing team to to uh to like to enhance what they have done and uh, to position themselves in the global market so that that's where we we come into picture so we play with their strengths we we push uh, the their strengths to uh, with uh, with respect to the we, we as a face of their of our vendors we push that and we tell that to the oems like we have this kind of capabilities this kind of uh, machining availability this kind of uh, uh, raw material availability this kind of uh, post processing availability so this as as a as a front uh, front runner for them so we as a as as a team we focus their strengths and strengths and capabilities and make global oem aware of what we do and uh, leverage the same and uh, make them uh, it's, it's a win win situation for both of them so that's what uh, we are uh, very good at Ease of access to advanced technology is certainly amongst the one of the best one could ask for in today's world. But at the same time, data security and unethical business practices also remain a major concern. How does Frigate ensure to achieve confidentiality of prototype designs and what advice would you like to give to our audience for a R&D planning and implementation cycle in this context? Very good question actually. uh yeah because design is everything right now so if you lose your design in two or right so uh there are two things i have to say here first thing uh in uh while we as i said we have around 200 plus uh, vendors on board and we call them frigators okay so before onboarding them we used to scrutinize okay from scratch right for example where, where you been uh from how long you been uh, associated like we have around 150 data points Uh, where, where we collect all those data along with uh, seven over uh, what are the number of machines available who, who are all the suppliers who are all the customers uh, like um, what is your monthly turnover what is your yearly turnover so what's your profit everything we used to analyze like along with that we also sign an mou come nda with them like if we share the design that it won't go away so That, that's the process we are signing with them and probably that is between us between our suppliers and we get in the same way we are will be signing an india with the customers up front so that in that way they can share the design without any problem like right? so we'll up front we'll sign the india then it is a mutual like so that so for example uh, there are we have done a lot of things for uh, many companies but we won't focus in our social media or any platform because it, it we are we are white labeling for them right so it's not that we can we can show that immediately. so that's what we won't show showcase anything which is uh, nda sign so the customers can uh, confidently give give their designs to them because uh, it, it won't go away from our ecosystem so that's what uh, even our vendor can't uh, work with other customers with the same thing so that is how we are protecting our ip and the today brands understand the importance of a great customer experience as the latter is emerging as a key driver for purchase decisions they are investing into multiple technologies such as artificial intelligence bots ml metaverse cloud and many others so that they can service the customers well how could one ensure to stay ahead of the curve at product designing and operation stage to cover all these aspects and be future ready yeah it's, it's, a, it's 
it's actually you see for example as uh, we get said if, if your business is not digital you are out of right you are out right so that's what he said yeah because uh, right now everyone has has their mobile phone in their hand like like 50 60 apps they have installed like everything is fast so uh to be frank uh, it depends actually for the business we are doing so uh if you are designing a new uh, new product or if you are uh, looking for uh, upgrading your old product as well you have to because in before 10 20 years it's not completely necessary that your product has to be digital but right now it has to be digital in such a way that you thought that you you can't even uh, is not about scaling you can't even survive right now that that's the way the things are because even a grocery grocery guy who is sitting near you kirana guy he is he is having that reliance up right so he is getting supply chain from reliance so everything is uh, like reliance e show or udan he is getting things from there right so if he is not upskilling or upgrading himself then it's it's a uh, no brainer right so uh, as uh, as a, as a, as a designer as a prototype uh, prototyping you know in this in this field like you have to it it depends on what product you are doing for example uh, if you are into uh, for example if you are into iot product so you have to design in such a way that if the design has to revise revise easily so you cannot uh, you have to make some room to enhance the product when and where it is required so that is how we have to where our uh, it's not that you have to uh, include everything in your design like ai iot so it, it depends on the customer also so for example uh, in frigate what we follow is like we have never we never been into manufacturing before but as a customer us we have we have we have we are doing right now manufacturing so in that way uh, you are initially you can design whatever the customer wants or whatever you are in but at, at the same time uh, the next one revision one or revision two it the customer itself will uh, give you the suggestions or feedbacks or whatever it may be so you have to update based on that then it will be a customer centric project or user centric uh, product so that's very much important in uh, right now so like uh, installing chatbot or uh, tele uh, auto tele telecaller or voice translator it depends on whatever uh, things available in the market so there are lots of saas products available so the right product has to be chosen by you and you can also check with your competitor like what they have been using and uh, you can get to know like okay really it's, it's good okay so it's, it's, the, the only thing is you have to think like a customer so if you think like a customer yeah then they will you will define a very good product right so then then it will be at the end it will be beneficial for uh, both of the customers and uh, you as a uh, product designer as well yeah. we would love to hear your views about us anytechtrial.com Yeah, I've seen uh, in tech trial like you have a bunch of softwares like from every field from task everything is task model from edu tech to manufacturing to supply chain you have everything uh, in a single portal. Uh, I actually I tried actually I tried uh, at least ten to twelve uh, softwares out of that. I love that actually. So I don't I have I haven't seen any anywhere like this like you have all the open source softwares and I don't know whether open source or uh, paid, but it all all like I have seen cat software as well. Like I love 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 the browsing or uh, any tech uh, platform, and uh, I I have also referred to to Chris because and you are doing amazing stuff also. Now it's the most interesting part of our conversation because it is our rapid fire round. So Mr. Tamil, you have to be really quick with it. You can't take much time with the questions. Sure. So sure. shall we get started? Yeah, I'm excited. Okay. So the first one is favorite book. Richter Coder. Favorite quote. Perseverance is the key and karma is always the key. Wow, favorite movie. 
நாயகன் தமிழ் மூவி ஃபேவரட் ப்ரொடக்டிவிட்டி டூல் நோட் பேக் ஒன் வேர்ட் தட் கம்ஸ் டு யுவர் மைண்ட் அபௌட் யுவர் செல்ஃப் अगेन क्वेश्चन ஓகே ஒன் வேர்ட் தட் கம்ஸ் டு யுவர் மைண்ட் அபௌட் கம்யூனிகேஷன் ஸ்கில்ஸ் ரீடிங் புக் ஃபுட் ஃபிஷ் a social cause you would like to work for probably for basically challenge something you wish you knew earlier mm. you early on maybe how to do business thank you so much that was a wonderful conversation with you and now we have come to an end of this interview i really enjoyed it i hope you enjoyed the conversation as well Yeah, thanks a lot Simon for your uh, questions and uh, I'm really like, excited to be here and hope that it helps and uh, thanks Initech Trail uh, for the opportunity to serve. Thank you so much to all the viewers who have joined with us in this conversation of Notable Talks by AnyTechTrial.com. Stay connected, we'll be back with our upcoming sessions.